what's going on everybody welcome back so let me give you guys an update so you guys know exactly what i'm up to and what i've been doing in my fish room lately so let's start with the display i know a lot of you guys are gonna hate me for this one basically i destroyed in my reef and it's a big reason why you know it's not only that i'm doing a new build but you guys know i already had a couple problems with this tank in the past where the water came out of the tank due to the hang on back overflow and you know those sort of things man so i got tired of it so i decided it's time for me to upgrade the tank and get something better and that's what i'm working on under there so that's basically one of the main reasons why i decided it was time for me to upgrade myself and have a already drilled tank and stop playing around with hung on the back overflows which they work and i had that one for a while like i run that overflow i had it for on 75 gallons and then i moved to this one and it did did the job um right you know but certain issues snails getting into it and and so and so air getting caught in the youtube and end up you know water overflowing out of the tank so the tank right now is still holding some of my colonies the biggest colonies i had in the tank it's crazy because now that you see these big colonies everything else i had in my tank it was frags and this is where they are so you see the difference even though the tank looked like big old colonies when i had it but basically this is the biggest colonies right here in my tank and basically all i'm doing right now i'm just um you know just keeping them alive in this tank and probably i'm gonna bring them to a store and get store credit and go from there because i don't got no space right now uh you know to put them in this tank gotta go so in the meantime, I'm gonna keep in there. I got my flame angel back in this tank. Uh, my rat still in there. And my yellow belly dancer. Also my two shrimps. I did lose my two peppermint shrimps. I don't know what happened. I probably, probably the two um, flame, uh, flame shrimps or fire shrimps, right? Something like that, fire shrimp. I think they were the ones that uh, gang on the peppermint shrimp so they no longer here i haven't seen them so i don't think i will never gonna see them again so the tank right now is still running with my ai prime i, I gotta get another one for the new build so it's gonna stay here for now just to keep the corals alive i gotta hang on back filter the filter i had in my seven and a half gallons a lot of you guys know that tank it got has a uv light uh, inverted in it so it's a great filter a bunch of uh, media in there just to keep the biological filtration going and things still thriving so everything is good with this tank so far so enough of, oh yeah so basically if i have the hang on back filter that means the sump is no longer here so no sump no nothing i removed this section here Put that panel back in there so yep this is the tank right now i got a friend of mine interested in this tank i told him you got to re silicone everything um i don't trust it it's been a while this is an old tank already and when i bought this tank uh i, I bought it from a wholesaler and look here um so far it hold on all this time i had this tank over a couple years already i would say more than six years and but they didn't glue this part right so it got that little ear ear packet right there so if you want to take it hey you know it's up to you i don't need this tank here no more so over here in the frag tank or frag city or the frag hotel however we want to call this tank everything is thriving guys everything is doing good at the beginning, when I first moved all this thing here, uh, even way before I moved things here, I was having a lot of algae or diatom problems in this tank. And now that I moved all the filtration I had in my display to this one, I guess it was lacking in biological filtration. Cause now it seems to be a little more stable. 
I don't have to clean the glass that often like before. And I also added two snails in here. So probably they doing the job also. And the frags, like a lot of the tile um, frags here and also this regular frags, they were getting full of algae. Uh, some type of little tiny hair algae, like diatom hair algae, some type of algae. And now it's gone. And you could tell, you know, so, somebody's cleaning that, that algae. So that's a good thing. Or the biological filtration is doing its job. So corals here are thriving, are doing great. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I can't complain. Yes, my acans are a little bit pissed ever since I moved on here. Um, they shrink. They're not as big as they used to look in my display tank. But they're here. they here. they doing good. Move. They back, so my fish are back with me. <laughs> but this is my Aiken colonies, and this is some of my Zoas colony that I have, that I've been growing for a while. This is Dramadis Krakatoas, beautiful, beautiful specimen. I love those Krakatoas. It's like gold with a burgundy pink, beautiful, beautiful piece. Also, my Recordias are a little bit pissed too. They don't look as big as they used to. Um, the reason why, I don't know. But when I had them in left city, they started doing this. And that's when I moved them to my display tank and they started doing better again. But they doing okay. At least they still alive. They showing their bright colors. So that's a good thing. So I just put this piece here. That's why it's a little bit pissed off. This is my uh, wall Duncan. Um, I said wall Duncan because that's how it grows. It look like a wall, not like a branching Duncan like the other ones I got. So I just put it there. It's kind of pissed off. And everything else is doing good. Hey, right, look at my dandruff. It's doing beautiful. Look at this frags here. That's also Drama D. Reverse Monty is already encrusting to the um, frag tile. That's a good thing. The same thing with my meteor shower. I don't know why. It's blue with the pink mouth and look at the where it's um already encrusting to the rock it's orange with the green it's crazy that's crazy i've never seen that before i know um it did have a little piece like that before um but it was on the side it wasn't in the bottom so if i could get another meteor shower different color from it hey that's a blessing so but yeah guys the tank is doing great you know, like my fish, they back with me. I did gave them away, uh, away to a friend. But like I said before, they beat up one of his fish. So he ended up bringing them back. They're going to stay here with me until I can find them a better home. There's somebody that wants a pair of clownfish. Either they want to breed them or whatever. Um, I got a pair here for whoever needs them. So they're really big. They're not your usual clownfish compared to the other one I got here. Look at how small that one is. And look at these big old clowns. They are about three or four inches um, in length. So, but the, the frag tank is doing great. That's a plus here. So left city, looking more beautiful than ever. I'm in love with this tank. Um, it's days that the zoas are really open and it's days that, you know, they kind of like right now, they kind of shrink. So you could tell the, the difference in where they at, but sometimes everything just look just fully, fully, fully of zoas and polys and everything looks happy. But the tank is doing great. So that's a plus. I love the way things are going with this tank. I still can figure out what's killing my fish. Hopefully, no more fish is gonna die here. I only got four fish, no, five fish in here right now. I got my ras, I got the yellow belly, the clown, the royal grandma somewhere in the back, and the barnacle blennies right there with the anemones. So, the tank is doing great. The tank is doing great. Um, update for this tank, I probably gonna make this a Zolo system. So basically, it's gonna have its own sump and just keep this tank as it is. I look at the Royal Grammar right there. So just keep it a, a solo system and and do something with it. I just gotta buy a sump to fit um, to this tank and, and just, you know, put it somewhere else. 
Um, I don't know yet exactly what kind of sump I'm going to put for this um, tank, but it got to be a cube, of course. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what we do with this tank because my plans are right now um, make this here a whole frag tank and keep the frags and, you know, see the corals that I'm going to be keeping in my main display and make sure I don't get no pets or parasites inside my display tank. So another upgrade that I did to this tank right now, I did add in my power bar. So I got different channels to run different equipment. It has my display tank on return pump, the j 4000. And let me turn on a light down here so you guys can see better. So the filter, this is what I'm doing right now with it. Um, it's not finished. It don't have no baffles, no nothing. I just put it there just to hold um, all the filtration I had in the main display. So this is basically how simple it could be. Like a filter only got to be just a tank full of water where you could place your equipment. So what I did is I put a filter sock going on the drain. I got my skimmer here. I did a vinegar bat and it's working a little better than before. It's, it's doing more bubbles. I no longer have the little piece that I put here to create bubbles. So we'll see. The only thing with the skimmer, I don't know what's going on. When I run it on, lo on the low settings, it just, that's when the, my water level go high. And I, I don't know, it's supposed to be the opposite way. So I really don't know. And when I go max, the water level drops. And I don't know if it's running the opposite way. So, but at least in, in low setting, it's working and it's skimming. As you guys can see, like I said, I did, I uh, cleaned it and now it's collecting again. So over there, I got my sand that I have in Wright City. So that's the sand that I'm planning to use in my main display. Here is some media and rocks and bio media blocks that I had in the display tank. And my color purple and for uh, some of my, I don't know, I don't think this is the dragon breath, but love the algae and my mangroves. And just a egg crate here, just to divide the algae from going to my return, the heaters, and my ATO is right here. And that's the tank for the ATO. So simple, just a simple system just so I could provide the necessary filtration for my fish tank. All right, guys, so like I said before, you know, just stay tuned. A lot of changes still coming. This is not done. I'm still working on a lot of things. Um, I'm working on that sump up here. So this is gonna be a DIY sump for the main, for, for the frag tank in left city. So I'm just waiting on the baffles. And basically here is, gonna be my main display with a display uh, refugium so once I have this baby set up guys you guys gonna be amazed what I did with this tank so just stay tuned for that and you guys gonna love it so that's the plans right now the plan is shut down this tank completely make the sump and if you guys want to see a video about that, just leave it in the comment section below. I did one in the past in my, at the beginning of my um, channel. That was basically how I started this channel, building a sump uh, for a 40 gallon breeder. So I'm going to do it again, but this time, like I say, I'm upgrading and making it look better. So if you guys are interested in how to make a 20 gallon long you know make it look better making a, a sum just you know stay tuned and watch my videos all right guys so like i always say if you haven't subscribed to this channel now the time to do so it's a lot of great things coming your way and i see you guys in the next one hasta la próxima your boy Calizos out thanks for watching see you guys